Hey everybody, Forrest here with Honey Pots in Zone 5 and I am hyped up. This is one of my favorite days during the winter and um, I want to share it with you guys. This video might be a little bit long, but we're going to have some fun. Okay, what I've got here, I've got my garden plan kind of all set up. I've got my blue book here with me. Y'all know how I like to have this around me. And it is, it's a useful tool. If you haven't seen my video yet on um, how to use this uh, garden journal, uh, go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, set it up however you want. It's really a useful tool. I keep all my paperwork and calendars in it. Um, that way I can see in my garden plans. I keep last year's and the years before. I keep all my garden plans in there. All my wish lists, my seed lists, and that way I can keep track of it. I'm not a super uh, duper uh, tidy person. I don't get organized. Um, so I became super organized and it made life so much easier for me. I don't lose a lot of things anymore. I have a place for everything and it works for me. If not, I'm a complete and total mess, which you can probably figure out by now. Okay. I got that. And then guess what started coming in the mail? Boom. <clears throat> Bam. Yeah. Bluestone perennials. Now this is not a seed catalog, but I've ordered plants from them since they had a little paper catalog um, back in uh, 1990 and stuff like that. I've been ordering from them from uh, for a really, really long time. They've got some great plants there. Um, Garden Trends, I haven't ordered from them before, but I have gone through their catalog. Um, they don't really state if anything is organic or not, so... Um, I'm not going to go through all these. Baker Creek. We'll have a video on that. Maybe I'll do another one after this. Annie's. Love Annie's. I've ordered from them a lot. I order from Baker Creek a lot. She sent me two catalogs this year, which I am fine with. And then the Seed Savers Exchange, which I'm real excited to get in this. This is the first time I've gotten their catalog. So that's what I've gotten so far. I usually have a stack that's about two inches thick. So I'm really psyched about this. And we'll do a video on me going through those catalogs. I love it. Okay, so this is what this video is all about. Let's see if I can get it close enough to you guys. And it doesn't really matter how much... Um, you're going to see, I'll uh, post a close-up photo of it, um, but I'm trying to do more of a crop rotation. So I'm going to try and put some things in earlier. I have enough seeds here. I mean, dang, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And if you see, I've got a lot setting out here um, that I'm going to share with you guys. So anyways... Um, so I want to do some rotation. I have enough seed that I can do that with. I can plant an early crop, see how early I can get it in the ground here in Michigan. Maybe do some row covers or maybe use those milk jugs I've got to cover them up and make little, um, green houses for them. That way I can get things started. I can have a lot more food. And, um, one of my goals is, is to see how many meals I can replace in my home with stuff out of my garden. How far can I stretch that garden out and make it grow? And with all the seeds I've got, I'll be good. I'll probably run out of canning jars, which is possible. I don't have as many as I used to. So anyways, in these top beds here, you know what? I'm just going to take this off of there. Get rid of that. Okay. There we go. Well, we'll start up here. I have my raspberries up here. And here used to be my greenhouse. But, um, well, it's still there. I'm going to take it down. I, I just don't use it. It's not that useful for me. Um, it's more of a storage unit. And since I winter so... I don't really need it and the peppers that I do have to sow indoors I just sow in here in my garden room so I'll be replacing that greenhouse um, eventually with some more garden beds but right now I've got these big red uh, pickle pots they're food grade and um, I'm gonna drill some holes in them and they're gonna turn into planters and I want to try some different types of melons and cucurbits uh, squashes you know, in there and just let them 
go crazy because this whole area right here is all mulch. They can just go on it. And um, if not, I'll just try and keep them trained in that area so we can get um, some mowing done. I'm not a big mower. I keep my uh, grass as high as I can get it. If I could find a mower that would make it even higher, I would. Um, I'd rather mow more frequently and try and keep it nice for my neighborhood than mow it really short. You know, the bees need all that food and nectar that's in the lawn, and but I need grass clippings. Um, so, but my lawn is grown for my bees and I'll be working on that and I can't wait to do a video on that. That's going to be so cool. So anyways, for the bees, I'm going to do that there. These X's on here are going to be uh, trellises that go over uh, the pathways, which I've seen on a couple of videos and I've seen it on uh, Pinterest and I was like, wow, that's really cool. I can do that. It's cheap and it's just a couple posts and some... Um, cow fencing or pig fencing something like that but it's something that they carry at the big box stores I'll get it done I'll do a video on it and I'll also get you guys the cost on that okay so anyways there is a fence all the way around my vegetable garden we have rabbits in the area and they love to get in there and munch on things and we'll see them sitting outside of there it's just like they're just yearning to get in to the garden and just eat it up so um, I keep a rabbit fence around there and also planting these buckets is more than just me adding more space. Uh, the little bunnies have dug under in that area to get in. So I've won so far. Um, I'll see one out in there and you'll see me just come barreling out of the house, screaming and waving my arms, acting like a fool. But um, anyways, so the, these top two ones, I'm going to start early, early, early as I can. Uh, I may try even at the end of February. I know that's crazy, but I so want to try it. Um, I have enough seeds that I can do this. Is I'm going to put my peas, and they'll grow along this fence. And I'm going to try like a sugar snap and then a regular like English green pea. We eat them both. We love them both. Um, the one sugar snaps I put in this... Um, I don't know what it's called but it's like a vegetable pasta with pine nuts and a cream sauce and oh it's my favorite meal ever so um, it's kind of like a vegetable creamy linguine thingy um, so I definitely have to grow those so I can make that for us and when I plant those I'm gonna go ahead and put some radishes in radishes are so good for you and good for your body so I want to plant some since I'm buying them all the time at the grocery store and then once those are done I'm gonna put in my bush beans um, last year's bush beans oh here's my peas see I got some of those peas and then I have regular peas somewhere if not those will be one of the ones that I order. I'm going to try and keep my ordering to a minimum. I want to see how much of this I can do without spending um, money. And then here are um, contenders. I got these from Baker Creek last year. And you can see, look, I still have a ton of beans left. And um, when I do my uh, winter sowing, uh, my second video for winter sowing will be a pretty long one too. I'll show you guys how to do viable seeds. In fact, I may make that a separate video and it's just real easy to figure out are these seeds good or not. Um, seeds will stay good for a really, 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 really long time. I think I got a pack here from 2013 that I'm going to see, you know, if they're good or not and um, plant them out. Um, I also collected some this year from my bushes because they did so great I mean these contenders were fantastic beans so I definitely recommend them um, they started when did they start June and August I was still picking beans and they were kind of they look kind of yellowy and kind of sickly looking but they were still producing beans so at one point I'm like alright I'm calling it and I pulled them um, well, I pulled some and then I left a couple out for the beans to dry on on the um, bush so I could get some more beans um, to get, get beans out of the garden. I can't think right now. My God. Um, I'm just so excited. So I'm going to try those too and see how they are with go ahead and getting them because Baker Creek seeds are heirloom seeds so I'm, I should be able to 
grow my own seeds, right? Fun. This is a fun hobby. Um, so my next two right here, these are going to be carrots and leaf lettuce, which I will plant at the same time. The leaf lettuce will be done way before the carrots will. And then by the time the carrots are spreading out, um, and would choke out the leaf lettuce because their tops are going to go get so big and beautiful and heavy. Um, the leaf lettuce won't be there anymore. And that way I don't have any wasted space and I'm not waiting for the carrots to get bigger. And then carrots are something that you can keep in the ground for a really long time. And being a root vegetable, they'll store for quite a while. And I'll be making a room down in my basement where I can store root vegetables and I'll have all my canning stuff there. And I'm going to share that with you guys too. How exciting is that? I mean, I've got so many great things going on here. Uh, my asparagus, I put in last year, last spring. Um, I started it uh, from the winter sowing I was telling you guys about. Um, and I'll be showing you more on. And they did great. They were huge. They were like three feet by the end of the year. And all these asparagus were popping up. It was so hard not to eat one. They were always like, don't touch it for three years. Yeah, right. I touched it, I cut some, and I ate it right there in the garden, and oh my god, that was mm, good stuff. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, it'll be easy to eat out of the garden, you know, at least flavor-wise it will be. I just got to make sure I have enough. So this year, um, yeah, I'm not supposed to be go out there and pick some, but you know I'm going to get a few. And then the following year, I can harvest my asparagus. So that will be great, and it's doing fantastic. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. I went ahead and composted it last year. Um, you put it in, and you put it in kind of shallow, and then you keep adding compost the bigger it gets and filling up your um, beds. And I have raised beds, by the way. Okay, right here, I'm going to put in my hot peppers. I just have jalapeno written there. Last year, I uh, planted habaneros, and I about killed myself and the kids with the habaneros. We could not speak, literally. I brought one in. They were so beautiful, and I'm like, come on, guys, let's try them. And we always, like, try things that are new in the garden. We even have a tomato tasting test thing, which I'll make a video on that, too. Um, a little excited here. But so I chopped them up and literally it was like a little pinhead, tiny, tiny sliver of a piece of this habanero. And I thought my son was overreacting. And so did my daughter. So my son bit it and he's like, <clears throat> and then my daughter did it and, and she ate it. And then she started coughing and yeah, they're my kids. They joke around and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, right. It can't be that bad. They're just trying to get me. And, um, yeah, we could not talk. And my daughter had enough wits about her to grab the milk jug. She knew to get milk instead of getting water. So she got the milk jug and we started chugging the milk down and it took a while. You kind of like hold the milk in your mouth. So the burning fire flame spewing sensation will stop and it took like 10 minutes before any of us could say oh my god you know but anyways so um jalapenos i think no i don't have any seeds right here um yeah i think that's one of the ones i'm gonna have to order let's see i have a seed list here and what i do i know this is probably hard to see I write them out, and then if I have the seeds here, I shop myself first. Always shop yourself first. I check them off, the ones that I have. And yeah, jalapenos I don't have. I do want to grow some Sorrentos um, and some bells. Um, the right down from it, this one here, this is my hot. This will be my mild peppers. And where's my... I know I saved some of them. Oh, okay. There's no picture of them. Um, mini chocolate bells, and I got these from Harris Seed Company. Oh my God, are they good? I collected some of these seeds too, so I'm gonna try mine as, um, and then I'll have to order some more. I'll probably go ahead and order some more. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go ahead and check and see if they're good or not. Um, but oh, they made these little 
tiny peppers that were purple and sweet and yummy and they make great neighbors um, I have a wonderful neighbor anyways but she would come over and she checks on the garden and see how things are going and she's very polite you know she doesn't come in the garden or anything um, which I would love for her too she's just adorable she makes the best peach cobbler in the world um, but we like sit on the fence line and I'm handing her peppers and we're sitting there talking and munching on these peppers and um, I give her stuff out of there she's really cool so they make great neighbor food um, and then I had ordered my um, uh, some organic jalapenos from there from them so I guess I'll order the peppers and the jalapenos from them if my peppers don't work out um, but I, I did when I went or so those I had enough to share so I took them into work and shared them. Okay, rhubarb, I winter sowed last year. Um, and then I'm going to plant some watermelon. I've got, I know I've got watermelon seeds. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try those because I'd like to try something small so I can grow it up the trellis. Um, so I may plant something else in here with the watermelon that will take over the ground and let the watermelon grow over the trellis. Um, and then here I've got Swiss chard and some beets that I'm going to do together. I love both. Um, yummy. And I don't know if I have any. I'll have to check my seed list for that. And then the bell peppers is where I'm going to plant that. And then um, I've got, I got a really big bag of seeds that were given to me. And these are some sweet peppers. Uh, the California Wonders, which are really good. They're good for stuffing. Um, so I'll definitely have both kinds of peppers. I had a great pepper year last year. I'm hoping for another one. Um, even though my tomato year kind of sucked, I've changed my mind about a few things on that. Okay, so next, um, garlic has already been planted. It was planted this fall by my son. And then here um, I have zucchini. And these like are like uh, two by four size and these are a two by eight size bed so these um, I'm playing I know I'm planting a zucchini plant in a two by four spot but I'm only gonna put one in I know it's gonna go everywhere and that's fine because then it's big and beautiful and it's feeding a lot but I had one zucchini plant last year one yellow crook neck squash and the yellow crook neck that yeah my zucchini did great and we had it coming out of our ears and I have some in the freezer and I make like a chocolate zucchini banana bread thing which is amazing um, and then we make like zucchini fritters and stuff so I've got a ton of zucchini in the freezer plus I cooked with it all year long anything I could put it in I put it in so I only need one zucchini plant and the yellow crook neck squash it didn't do so good and the skin was kind of tough and fleshy so we're cutting that I'm going to grow eggplant this year. We love eggplant, especially eggplant parmesan. Um, my kids love a good moussaka, so uh, definitely growing eggplant. Uh, leeks, I need to order those. So I'm going to grow leeks. I prefer those over onions, but I do want to grow some onions. In My Gardener has um, some really good videos on the onions he grew and how he grew them big. So um, after I saw that, I'm like, I have to grow regular onions. I don't like raw onions at all. Even if they're a leek or a green onion or a chive, um, I just don't like raw onions. They make me cry and my eyes swell up when I cook with them. Usually I have to call one of my kids in there to cut the onions for me. So I like leeks. I like when I cook with them. They're very mild. Um, but I will cook with other onions. And, well, I guess I do eat raw onions because I do eat salsa so or um, something like that. But, um, so I am going to try and fit onions in somewhere where, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts, so do my kids. I'm going to have to order those. Cabbage, I've never grown cabbage before. Why? I don't know. We love cabbage. So I'm going to put cabbage in first, and then my tomato second. These, these and these are the only two, four I have planned for, um, a second planting but I definitely can put something in where the Brussels are at and we'll see how it goes with the leeks because you can leave leeks in the ground for a while even after they're mature but I'm gonna start them early 
like um, M. M. I. Gardner suggests to start them early and from seed. Don't buy the slips. And if you watch his video, he'll tell you why. Um, but and then I have more trellises here and on my trellises I'm gonna put my cucumbers I want to do some noodle beans um, and there's a squash that I want to try that looks amazing so I want to do that but I do have like my carrots and oh look at this isn't this gorgeous looking I want to try that I'm gonna grow that I don't know when I got those or when I used them I must have because it was open and one other thing I wanted to show you guys, I know it's December here, but look at this beautiful stuff. Does everybody know what that is? You can probably tell by looking at it. It's called milkweed. It's so soft. Oh my God, it feels like my cat. And I'm going to um, add a bed to my yard just for the butterflies. There's going to be milkweed. There's going to be dill. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to grow in there, but I'm definitely going to start a bunch from seed. I did um, last year or the year before that. I started some milkweed from seed, and they turned out great. Um, I had a bunch of them, and I was so excited about it. So um, I'm going to start a bunch of milkweed so I can have a bunch of monarchs. And I have a, I'm uh, certified as a monarch way station, so that's like so cool, isn't it? Um, I've had like monarchs lay eggs and stuff like that so we'll get into all that this spring I can't wait for the spring but I wanted to share today with you um, it's one of my favorite days to do this type of work and get my garden ready and started so I can get out there um, and it kind of helps with that spring fever and that's probably why I'm so nutty right now is all this spring fever but thank you guys for watching thank you for liking and subscribing don't forget to leave comments down below any questions uh, once I get that my blog up and running I will link all that for you guys so you can start getting the list of things and I shall see you guys in the next video